Hello everyone, my name is Ribhu and uh, I am with the Department of Electronics and Electrical Engineering IIT Guwahati and uh, the coming uh, July semester or the coming semester, I am offering this course on modeling and simulation of uh, communication systems using MATLAB. So, as undergraduate students uh, and postgraduate students of communication engineering and uh, as undergraduate students of electronics and communication engineering, you might have come across uh, various digital communication systems, even your, in your signal systems course, you might have come across all these different signals and uh, you want to know how do we design, plan and uh, how do we execute uh, these communication systems. Obviously, what we study in these uh, theory courses is quite different or uh, we seem it to be quite different from the smartphones that we hold in our pockets or the internet we use through our desktop. So, the question is that how does this uh, theory of communications tie into uh, the practicality of uh, all the modern day wireless communication or the ubiquitous all modern day wireless communication systems that we have. So, the one of the key steps joining this theory from practice is simulation. So, simulation basically involves taking a practical system, reducing it to a mathematical model and then trying out that mathematical model on a computer via what are known as Monte Carlo methods to get an idea of how a theoretical system that we have in our head will behave practically. Obviously, uh, and this part is what is known as communication systems. We know that practical communication systems are very expensive to deploy. So, we cannot uh, try out new techniques on those systems before we simulate them. So, simulation in this way plays a key part in the execution of uh, communication systems. So, our aim in this course is to introduce simulation of communication systems in MATLAB. So, MATLAB is the most preferred language for simulation. So, our goal in this course is to introduce the simulation of communication systems to undergraduate and postgraduate students studying communication engineering and uh, to let them know how they can actually build programs that would simulate any communication system that they come across. So, in this course that we have divided into three modules, we will first cover the basics of MATLAB, we will talk about uh, writing basic MATLAB scripts and how do they work. Then we will move on to signal analysis using MATLAB and we will introduce what are known as Monte Carlo methods and uh, talk about their significance. Then the second module what we call the essential module about communication systems, we will talk about random processes, we will talk about lossy data compression in terms of source coding which is an essential part for modern day communication systems. We will essentially talk about baseband wireless communications, we will introduce some data science in the form of linear regression and study its applications to communication systems and we will talk about Markov chains and study which is an also an important topic for data science and we will study its application to communication systems and finally, in the advanced module we will look at some queuing theory and uh, we will see how network traffic is modeled. So, I hope that this course proves useful for all the learners who enroll this and uh, I hope to see you in July or I hope you to see me in July in the lectures for this course. Thank you.